Welcome to the first video from IT Free Training's course on IP6. This course will take you through everything you will need to know for IP6. If you find any topics missing, please let us know and we'll look at adding them. In this course, I will start by looking at IP6 addresses. They may look complicated at first, however, you will quickly learn how to tell them apart just by looking at them. Being able to identify an IP6 address will also allow you to determine how it will be used. Next, I will look at IP6 subnetting. Subnetting in IP6 has completely changed since subnetting in IP4. In some ways, it is easier, in other ways, harder. But once you learn how to do it, you will be able to achieve some great results. After this, I will look at transition protocols. These protocols provide a bridge between networks running different versions of the IP protocol. To end the course, I will look at what you would need to do in order to have an IP6 only network. As you will see, the deployment of IP6 has been very slow. However, it is good to consider what needs to be done when it comes time to stop using the IP4 protocol, however far away that day is. To start this course off, I will first have a quick look at the history of the Internet Protocol. The Internet Protocol is what connects all our computers and devices across the world. This common protocol is what allows different operating systems and devices to communicate with each other. The fourth version of the Internet Protocol was developed in the early 80s. There were other versions before this, however, they were considered experimental and never commercially deployed. You may also see IP4 referred to as TCP IP. The Internet Protocol is made up of many different protocols. TCP or Transmission Control Protocol is one of the major protocols used in the Internet Protocol. Thus, TCP was used in the name. Over time, the TCP has been dropped and the collection of protocols is just referred to as IP4 or IP6 or just the Internet Protocol. Since it was first developed, IP4 has become very popular and has been much improved and expanded. The reason for this was due to increased popularity. Nowadays, everyone is connected to the Internet, and with the advent of cloud-based services, the need for addresses continues to expand. In 2011, IP4 addresses started to run out. This is the major reason why a new protocol was needed to be deployed. The protocol to replace IP4 was IP6. There was a version 5 of the Internet Protocol, however this protocol was experimental only and never got deployed. The main difference between IP4 and IP6 is that IP4 uses 32-bit addresses while IP6 uses 128-bit addresses. In later videos, I will have a closer look at how this makes a difference to the number of devices the Internet can support. But without giving it away, there are so many addresses in IP6 that we should never run out. The deployment of the IP6 protocol started in the late 90s. Today, it is estimated that over 10% of the Internet is using the IP6 protocol. Deployment and adoption of IP6 has been slow. In this course, I will look at why this has been the case and the current state of deployment on the Internet. Well, that covers it for this video. I hope to see you in the other videos on IP6. And remember, if we miss any topics on IP6 that you would like to see, feel free to let us know in the comments or send us an email. Until the next video, I would like to thank you for watching.